will they bring is something banning. new into the table given na same similar international <laughs> Alam niyo ba Wul? Ano yan, ano yan? Ang finishing touch, ang finishing moment ay pwede mo rin makorelate sa period padlock tapon susi no erase. <laughs> Tama. <laughs> Kaso ah, hanggang period lang sila, wala sila nung mga padlock. Period sila, wala sila nung no erase, so wala silang padlock tapon susi. Minsan kasi kailangan mo na yung padlock tapon susi para kayo na talaga eh. Uh, wala, wala na, hindi ka na mababaw eh. Hindi ka na mababaw eh. Ito na yun eh, is banning. Tinapon mo na, pero yeah, again, kaya na sinabi natin, for this uh, MPL Season 8, we might not be able to see the po- same trend, Your same trend for both picking. teams. Kanina din, ito yung mga b- usual na bina nila. Actually, this... These are the heroes na binan nila. Si Fovio, si Exborg, even the Ling, and Johed for Blacklist International. So for Blacklist International, oh yeah, it's the same. It's the same for both teams. So kumbaga, stick to the plan kapag may nagbago, tsaka natin ililiko. Kasi effective naman for us. Picking. So uh, what did we hear? Uh, mukhang... Uh, Oh, okay. okay. Ito sila na. Ng barats. Sila naman yung kumuha ng barats. Well, Paquito sure, for sure sa Blacklist. Paquito, pwede gamitin ni ano? Pwede gamitin ni Edward. Edward. Oh, pwede pwede, pwede rin nakuha ni si Ruby actually. Kasi mahirap pagka ano, eh, mahirap kapag ah, ka meron right. silang Ruby na katapat para may pang-hold na agad against the Parrots or anyone that could dive against uh, uh, from TNC. And for Blacklist International, again, it's all about the obvious strategy. Pero, mukhang iba ya... Oh, Joe, okay. The MMA duo. <laughs> The oh. MMA. Ginawa na yung MMA. Eto na. Ready na. By the way, um, uh, very nice oh, performance pa din from uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Congratulations. Laban lang. Rin. Laban lang. Madaming, uh, madami pa rin siyang uh, ginawang crowd na Pilipino during that performance. And yeah, the combo. Meron ka na sumisipa, meron ka pa nalununtok. Yep. For Blacklist International. Baka yep. mabugbog kayo. Mixed, ano nito yun? Eh? Mixed martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> Tingin ko para sa TNC kunin na nila yung Popol surely dito. And uh, perhaps na Kagura na ma- malakas naman din magkagura si T-God. Ah, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Kasi kulang din sila sa AOE kanina. Yun yung uh, sinabi natin noon na meron silang uh, Estes na pick. For hey, ano dito? For uh, TNC? Or Selena siguro tas Kagura or Given performance ng TNC on a game number one, Luna. Selena and uh, Selena and uh, Popaling Kupa, yeah. advisable pa din ba for them to, re- to take both? Um, may, pwede pa rin lalo na pag comfort may, pero kitang-kita yung uh, pagkakulang sa damage output eh, sa AOE Your damage output. Your team is banning. So, yeah. Para pang early game kasi talaga yung ano eh, pag naging effective yung kanilang vision. Parsa. On, Forza and Rafaela for TNC. Oh, uh, meron silang for the movement speed, meron silang burst. So for TNC again, they're investing dun sa mga early game potential kasi alam naman natin si Farsa, pag nag-level 4 automatic eco, tapos fair air strike and that's it. Oh! Time to witness the hands. Alam mo this time around, I like TNC's answer. Kumuha na sila sa first phase na isang Farsa. Kumbaga yes, tinelegraph yes. na nila, parang pinoproject na nila sa utak nila na ah, wait, magi-estest to. Kailangan handa tayo sa mga gagawin nila. Yep. So this might, this could be uh, Farsa para kay Kuse sa gold lane. Pwede rin naman siya kay Pigod pero ang TNC nung sila pa ay uh, work Oster Force ay ginagamit talaga nila ang Farsa sa may side lane which is the gold lane. Para naman sa blacklist, binana nila yung uh, Lancelot. Even when it's not the best hero, may baban pa rin nila. And uh, they still pick up the Estes kahit pa merong Farsa sa kabila. So, I wonder kung ano ang sagot ng Blacklist International with this. Ganun talaga ka-confident si Blacklist International sa kanilang uh, Venus Hero on this Estes. And again, ki- ayan na. Binan na nila. Sabi niya, wait, if we will give up or we will give the opportunity for Blacklist International na makuha itong uh, ating duo na Paquito and so automatic, huwag na natin ibigay. Si Aldo, kasi grabe na yung... Uh, Um, poking uh, potential yes. of the side of Blacklist International and Kagura for the side of Blacklist on the additional ban. So, kulang pa dito na ano, ng DPS si TNC. Yeah. Um, thinking na uh, baka kumuha sila ng Lunox pa- para kay Kose. Then, then lagi nila si uh, Farsa kay Piga. Tapos, pero pwede pa rin naman sila magselina. I think yung Blacklist, uh, sisecure na nila yung uh, OHEP hero sa kanilang fourth pick. Probably Harith. Your Feeling ko makakakita tayo, possible na, na nararamdaman ko lang na baka makakita tayo ng Ay, Hayabusa. Ganun. Okay, Harith has been banned here. So kulang dan damage dito for Blacklist International. 
Ah, yung pusa. Mm. Grabe ano dito. Grabe yung split push potential ng ano ng uh, Blacklist International. I agree. I agree actually. Kasi physical yung tat, uh, physical yung tatlo si Hayabusa, Pakito and Cho. So, pwedeng panggulo eh. May poka na pwedeng pang hold pag team fight automatic. Yeah. Yung Hayabusa nila sa may gilid-gilid lang. For for TNC dito kailangan nila ng um, isang hero that could stand alone na pwedeng dumepensa against someone na magsi-split push from Blacklist International. Blood is Hindi, hey, iba, iba yung narinig natin eh. Oh, babae. Ruby, Ruby. of course, magandang magandang pick. And, And Roger. Roger. Roger wins games. Roger wins games. Hili! Grabe yung na-excite tayo sa narinig. Oo nga eh. <laughs> na-excite tayo bigla sa Kimi. Um, ang tagal natin hindi nakita si Kimi. Um, although for the lineup of Blacklist International, yung Kimi yung pinakaasahan nila in, in terms of the damage. Uh, this might be a different rotation from them. Very different from Ubi strategy. Uh -huh. I think kasi ano, single targeting. So parang wala naman talagang aano hindi to si si uh, Venus and uh, TNC dito mas mabilis rotation pa Ella to eh. I would say that some coaches na nakausap natin they don't really see Kimi as a threat with the changes na ginawa sa kanya Chantel Wolf but this time around I really think Bonchan May pinapatunayan na naman siya ulit dito. Yeah. It's always, pag may, may konting quote-unquote revamp daw kay Kimi na pwede, mas madali na siya i-target, basically speaking. Ang naging changes is, yung kanyang damage output ay medyo na-adjust. Na so, mas mabilis na yung kanyang, yung mga frequency ng attacks niya, yung, kanyang, yung, mga, yung mga sago niya, mas mabilis na yon. pero mas slightly na mas ma, mas mahina compared before. Ngayon, nas nagbe-benefit dito yung mga items na medyo by chance si Mark Proc, mare critical. Sobrang ganda na para kay uh, para sa isang Kimi. Also yung mga bonus, mga bonus damage. At paano ba laruin ng Kimi sa ngayon? Almost the same as before. Mag-push ka na mag-push at mag-ube ka. Oh, mahirap kumbaga para dito sa side ng uh, TNC Welcome para kontrain yung mga bagong heroes. And for this Blacklist International surprising us with the Kimi Pick. Nakita natin yan, like mga season 4, um, uh, effective siya for this, um, or for the meta. Pero right now, gaya sinabi natin, we not, we're not sure if this is, this is effective anymore. And interesting for the side of Blacklist International, uh, nagita si Oheb, oh, no, parang ano dito. I think uh, in terms of laning, medyo delikado dito si uh, Farsa or si uh, Kosei, knowing ang kanyang kalane is Ahayabusa. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, Nakikita mo naman yung bilis ni Wise dito sa pagkuha ng kanyang, uh, ng kanyang mga jungle monsters. And si Pigod, mapapakasahan siya na to dito. Nagamitin yun agad ng flicker. Oo, oh, ang bilis. And a first blood agad for Blacklist International that game. Gaya na sinabi natin, may damage dito si Kimi. Napakasahit ng Kimi actually even at uh, level 1. So that is very evident on the first blood ng Blacklist International. For uh, TNC naman dito, medyo slow. Kasi Roger, antayin pa niya mag level 4. Or uh, antayin pa nila dito mag turtle objective for them to be able na talaga mag-engage against uh, this Blacklist International squad. Yeah. So, uh, TNC dito, I think uh, kailangan nilang bigyan ng space si 3 Martizi. Mm -hmm. uh, problem nila dito is they chose for the uh, Barats na mid laner. Or ating, uh, uh, post 4. Uh, Nag-work naman siya kapag meron ka Rafaela kasi napapabilis mo yung paglalakad ni Barats with Rafaela. At nakapag-clear ka gamit yung skill set mo. And late game, napakakunat mo. Pwede kang tumaki sa, sa yung uh, kalaban. However, hindi siya katulad ng... Uh, Farsa, for example, na sobrang bilis mag-clear ng waves, makakatulog agad sa laban. Si uh, Pigat, kailangan pa niya mag-level 4 at ang dali niyang i-dodge. And I feel na ang isang Barats, uh, baka mag-struggle siya sa isang uh, uh, isang Kimi, lalo later na pag, on, oh, pag later, oh. pag nakita natin, ma madali siya matunaw. Mahirap siya mag-front, kumbaga, kasi mga players yes. dito ng TNC more on the front, pero ganyan sinabi natin, na ganyan term dito ni uh, paring Wolf, it's all about the front Lutin. na dami Uy. na <laughs> enter na nakuha na nga. Um, TNC na is still there para kay Pigod. I'm offended. Oh! oh my. By Edward. Take it on. Kill and another one. Yes, sige, turtle. Kami kukuha ng kills against TNC. Oh, si, um, wala ko pa 
pumasok pa si Edward eh. <laughs> Pinapakaba ako eh, napaamba eh. Grabe si Edward. Si Edward. Anyway, this is the, the champion Pakito of Edward. Yes. Talagang uh, very flexible siya on this hero. And uh, speaking of Edward, siya yung klase na hero na talagang kapag kaya niya humabol sa team fight pupunta talaga siya eh. Go, go talaga siya eh. Pero for that, yeah, early objective nakuha ng uh, Blacklist International dito. We don't want this Kimi to scale up if you are TNC. Ah, napakaganda, napakaganda nung ginawa ni uh, Edward. Lalo nga na with two assists na set up for a three-man knock-up gamit yung kanyang ultimate. Of course, the champ stands. Excited to see what TNC can bring gamit itong oh. uh, Kusay ni Farsa. Uh, fa Farsa ni Kusay, I mean. Oh, Farsa ni Kusay. Kusay ni Farsa. Kusay ni Farsa. And uh, eto, Blacklist International, um, I think ang nakikita natin dito, tama ba, na more on rotation sila kasi alam nila na meron silang poke. Uh -oh. Mabilis eh. Oo. Oh. At saka ano to eh, Kimi. Pagka Kimi ka talaga, uh, mabilis na, clear, lahat ng pwede mong gawin at the same time, isa pa sa mga upside niyan, is mabilis din kayo mag-take down yes. ng mga turrets. Yan, and uh, kaya na sinabi natin, uh, for TNC, doon sila sa far sa umiikot for this game. Kasi medyo lugi in, in terms of the lane, if you have the Hayabusa and the Farsa. And look at that, yung over strategy, nakikita pa rin natin for Blacklist International with a twist because of this Kimi pick. And Edward, ikot-ikot lang sa mapa, he is the visioner here for Blacklist International. Pero may, oy, oy hindi tumama, I'm offended dito, ni pare T. Martiz. Oh, ang bilis na genius one for Wise. Nakakuha na sila ng outer turret energy shield sa top lane. Tapos makapag-push pa sila. Tapos ako nasa turtle lane pa sila. Exactly. So uh, that is an edge for the side of Blacklist International. Napakabilis na pangyari. Would you guys agree with me? Nakapagkasinabi ko sa inyo ngayon, this is a faster version nung Bruno Rafaela na usually ginagawa. Ah, oh, yeah, oh, oh. Uh, Kasi diba? dito si Kimi, hindi niya na kailangan na habulin or saluhin niya kanya mga sagusago. Kasi kay Bruno, di ba, sasaluhin niya pa yun or kukanin pa niya. Pero na, that is another third objective para dito sa side ng Blacklist. Oh no, ah, kanina pala TNC na ako. This time around Blacklist International, makakasecure niyan. And very fast in terms of the gold for Blacklist International to this game para nahihirapan mag-adjust or mag-react ang TNC. Sobrang komportable talaga ng Blacklist International with this Ube Strat. At to be honest, akala ko ngayon Kimi lalabas last season eh. Pero mukhang hindi pa enough. Ngayon may konting uh, changes para sa isang Kimi. Mas maganda na nga yung kanyang overall damage output. At and, mas napagpush siya. And uh, yeah, well, speaking of uh, bottom lane natin, grabe si Haji. Talagang comfort comfort uh, hero na, niya na I think for the totality of MPL Season 8. Yung kanyang show. In out, in out. If there's an opportunity, pwede na kuhanin. Go. Pero Chu against Twice oh! and the Dragon. Look at that play. Ibra na to kay Wise doon yung pwede patay na hero from TNC and grabe yung connection nung no, tatlo natin na umiikot Haji Wise and Oh My V At habang nangyayari lahat yun ito Wolfa habang nangyayari lahat yun basically natatanggalan sila lang sila ng turret sabi natin kasi kanina more on the split push for oh. Blacklist International. Ngayon, hindi nila kailangan na 5v5 or kompeto yeah. sila sa teamfight. So, ang daming space for, for Oheb onto this game. 4-1. 4-1 ang uh, unang initial rotation dito mula sa Blacklist International. Lalong-lalo na sa pagkakagamit nila kay Haji. So, it, yung 4-1 na yun, either dun sa may top lane dun sa may bottom lane. Nung nakita natin, inuna nilang apatin yung gold lane, tapos hinayaan nila si Edward mag-isa. Nung naman, mid-game na, ayun, hinayaan na nila si Oheb mag-isa. At sobrang yaman na ngayon ng mga members ng Blacklist International. 4.8k na Ooh. dito si Oheb. Malapit na sa kanyang uh, susunod na item. Inuna niya yung War Axe. So, masakit na yan. Ngayon, Ice Queen 1 at Genius 1. Wise, masakit na yan. Oy! At pick off pa! The flying, the flying Roger! What? TNC for that. Woo! That is... Ayan no, Roger Airlines! Roger Airlines! Roger May ticket pupunta ka M3! Hayabusa Airlines! Hayabusa Airlines! Plus the Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Nagulat tayo dun. From Tinapak. second turret up to the first tier turret on the middle lane. Ang layo na nilakbay. The fastest Parang werewolf so alive! <laughs> lying, lying Roger! The flying Roger, guys. Ah, this is a very fast At, game. Ito yung mga times na, sina, na iniisip mo lang na posible mangyari ito eh. La isa sa mga TNT Recraft Cup, pwede na eh. Parang tatimingin mo yung talon ni Roger para bumalik ka gamit yung shadow at nangyari siya sa MPL. Manang-mana si Oheb. Akala kay, ko Matilda kay, yung nakita ko eh. Oo, sa, manang mana sa Matilda ni Venus. Oh, 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 ko, sa, Matilda, kasi nga, si Mamshu yan. 
Ay, Ay, paano eh. sila kay Ma'am Shu? Grabe, tinuruan. Yung mga tinuruan. pwedeng hero na pwedeng gamitin ng parang tiknik na Maltina. And for that, Grabe. I think we're DNC. Kailangan nila i-check out yung mga ganong klase ng play from uh, Blackness International. Pero fast hands for Oheb on that decision para makamamba out against the players of, or against you, of TNC 7-0 on But, this game. Uh, you know what? Para sa Blackness International, para sa atin, Highlight yon, but at the same time for TNC, that is unfortunate. Oh, oh. that is very much unfortunate. Parang lalo kay Chu. Parang, Imagine in being oh. the shoes of Chu, sobrang ma matitilt ka talaga. Oh, parang nakainis yun kasi isipin mo, yung game mechanic na, yung oh. nag-screw over sa'yo. Oh. Yeah, parang nagulat din siya sa pangyayaring yun, I think. And for that, hindi nyo makakancel. Pero that is Haji Easy down. Medyo na palalam si parang Haji Easy natin for that uh, kill of TNC. And again, it's all about the split push here for Blacklist International. Talagang ano um, if there's an opportunity na hindi ka mo nakasama sa team fight, it's really good. Pero Jose dito, just spend, uses that feathered airstrike. And just look at the gold lead for Blacklist oh. International. Seven. What is the winning condition here for Oh you? my, oh my God. God! Look at that damage! What is the winning condition for anong team? For a TNC. Uh, wag mo ganun. <laughs> wag mo ganun. Oh, what a reset. What a reset. <laughs> oh, naglalaban sila, nasa gitna. Sabi nung ano, sabi Wait nung... Lumayan niyo ako! Sabi nung Orange Pop, gusto ko lang naman umuwi! So lang umuwi! I just wanna go home! Pagod na pagod na ako. Uh, and uh, TNC, again, um, mahirap for them. Makahabol dito, pero there, there's an opportunity. They have the force, ha? Kasa this is just... Just nine minutes, and just look at the gold for Blacklist International. Talagang nag-scale up. Imagine two zero seven. Tapos na kami stress up pa dito si Wise. Now going back to the question, Chantel, I really think they need to ah make three Martizi. Yung beacon nila dito. I think siya na lang talaga yung makahawak niyan, and kailangan yung iline up kay Kose yung kanyang ultimate sa. Feathered Airstrike para makapag-deal ng sobrang laking damage. Pero yung mga teorya kasi na yun na 5-man hatak, 5-man mm. knock-up, madali siya yung theory craft eh. Madaling sabihin na magagawa mo. Pero kapag in practice na, napakahirap. Especially at these high-level games na ginagawa natin. Yeah, and for for uh, um, uh, Q Martins to actually pull that off, kailangan niya din i-take into consideration na ang sasakit na. If oh. ever kasi baka maging turn around kill, parang gagaw, siya yung gagawa na set up play for uh, Blacklist International, palalapitin oh. yung pepper. So, uy, na-bait na yung ultimate. Although mabilis na naman ang cooldown ng ultimate ng isang ruby. Ito na, nako. We have the Lord now for Blacklist Ay. International. But yes, they have the parsa. Kaso, so, question dito, how will they... Eh, How will they be able to sustain the damage here of the wind? Oh, grabe. Yung itemization, by the way, ng Blacklist International. Triple Dominance Ice. Ayaw talaga nilang pakilusin dito si Ruby. Pati na rin ito si Roger para hindi makapag-sustain. May anti-heal mechanic na rin kasi ngayon ang Dominance Ice. Tapos talagang protect wise at all costs lang ang gagawin nila. And at the same time, sa kanila talaga nakakila yung most damage na continuous for the side of Blacklist, for the side of uh, TNC. So, ayun no? Ang sakit! Kinanakdown lang nila. Oh my Aragoy. God. Feeling ko, pagdating after na nga day one natin, madami magkikimi sa ating mga rankings. It goes to show kasi sa performance din. Pero Hachi is still alive. Oh wow! After that dive against the TNC, <laughs> nahil, dahiling galing, the ube strategy of Blacklist International. He got a little life. And that is gonna be a killing spree. Ooh. Pero may kill dito ang TNC. Tapos si Light dito, wala na buhay. Maybe na flicker out. Oh, with a shadow kill against Chu. Chu is still alive. Oh Pero power na dito for Blacklist International ending this series with a 2-0.